So, welcome to Art Doctor's lockdown special number three, maybe? Is no, it number three? No number four? No uh, so you'll notice today that we um, have a new art doctor with us, uh, junior art doctor Polly Petler. Hello Polly. Hello Liz. And how are you today? I am very good, very um, well, well, basically relaxed and oh. excited for this new video. Well we're really excited to have you. Unfortunately art doctor Alison wasn't able to join us today. Uh, and for a special one this week we uh, are going to be going south to an allotment in London where gardening artist Rachel is going to show us around the allotment that she's been doing during this difficult time and she's going to on how we can grow things in our kitchens with very little equipment. So, does that sound good? Yeah, let's get started. Okay, let's do it. So let's go over to Hello Rachel. Hello doctors. Hello, it sounds a bit windy over there. It is a little bit windy, but during during lockdown I feel very, very uh, happy that I have my allotment because it means that this is this is classed as exercise so that I can come down and I'm not shut in my house all the time. So uh, I've been, um, well, you can have a look around. You can see that I've been planting a few things. Wow, look at that. That looks like quite a system you've got there. Well, I, uh, I, I learned from the, from the senior members of the allotment and they insist on putting everything in rows. <laughs> so I've been uh, trying to trying to follow suit. Uh, today I've been um, planting uh, beans. I can see you bright bean fair, and that looks very good. And uh, and we have um, some shallots growing over here in the cage. Uh, broad beans co will be coming here. Mm -hmm. I saw there was one somewhere, but it's oh yeah, there's one growing here slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it's uh, it's this this time of year we need to put everything in the ground mm -hmm. and then it gets really exciting when everything starts to starts to come up and then um, uh, rhubarb uh, this rhubarb plant mm -hmm. got a, a weird flower on it Can you see that oh yeah wow that's quite <laughs> um, extravagant flower <laughs> 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 But this rhubarb is uh, quite a special rhubarb. It's kind of, it came originally from my my mum's cousin, who lived in the Lake District, mm. and she'd taken it from a house that she'd lived in in Derbyshire. So it's a it's a family heirloom, my rhubarb. Wow. Yeah, and of course you're speaking so, to people who are in the. The rhubarb triangle of Yorkshire. Exactly. Well, you know, coming from Yorkshire, you can't really live without it, can you? It's Absolutely part of not, your no. need it. And so I'm going to see if I can pick a bit today. This will be the first picking of the season. Wow. So uh, let's see if we can see inside here. Oh, how, how does that fare with Yorkshire rhubarb? That looks pretty majestic, I'd say. I'd want to paint that. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I'm thinking, yes, uh, as well as uh, doing gardening, it's mm. quite quite a good source of um, of things for drawing and painting and being creative at home. Mm. What is a favourite um, thing that you have planted in your allotment? Oh, my favourite thing is the, the broad beans. They're not up yet, but they're the only thing that I grow that really works every year. <laughs> so I always plant a lot of those. I quite like them. And they have a nice uh, white flower on that brings lots of bumblebees. So even better. I think you're quite partial to broad beans, aren't you? Yeah. Have you put any in this year? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think we've also got. Do you want to introduce our other guest? It's Peter Rabbit. Peter Hello, Rabbit. Hello. Hi. One thing, please, though, don't eat the lettuces. Hello. Okay. <laughs> what we wanted to do now was I know you have got some interesting ideas on how to grow stuff at home, in the kitchen, or your bathroom, from food that you buy 
at the shop? Because I think during lockdown, it's a really nice thing to be able to grow grow a few things even if you don't have a garden and because not very many people have got allotments and if you've only got a window ledge mm -hmm. you can try and grow tomatoes even at home so if you mm -hmm. buy a tomato and slice a piece off it with the seeds in it and just mm -hmm. put put that in a, a little pot of soil or compost and to put a bit more on the top and leave that on the windowsill for a week or two it should start growing and then that will grow into a, a proper proper tomato plant and hopefully in July, August, you might get some tomatoes from it. Wow. So it's really easy. You don't even need to go and buy seeds because the, everybody seems to panic bought seeds. It's very difficult to find any packets yes, of seeds yeah. as well. Which is a great thing, but obviously if you want to start now, that would be mm -hmm. difficult. And you could also try uh, seeds from a courgette you can just just take the take the seeds out and put those in a little pot or with a or from a pumpkin anything with seeds you can try growing just in a if you don't have a plant pot you can just start off with a yogurt pot or anything that you've got and uh, you do need a little bit of soil though so if you haven't got any if you've got a friend that's got a garden um perhaps you can go dig a little fork a little um you know a, a scoop full of soil when when they're not looking <laughs> Peter Robert, have you got something you wanted to say? I have been given from the police and this person Polly here uh, has um, um, done a picture of me and with a box with an Easter egg in um, with me with a smile to keep other people smiling um, mm. on Facebook. Okay, so if you go to West Yorkshire Police Facebook, Peter Rabbit might be on it with Art Dr. Polly. Well, we'll look out for that, won't we? Okay, so uh, just before we wrap that up, have you got any, is there anything that you're um, hope, hoping for over the next few weeks on the allotment or things that you have yet to put in that you're planning to? I'm going to plant some... Uh some uh, lettuce uh, now the weather's getting warm it's nice to have a bit of salad straight out of the ground because you did mention earlier about some crazy idea about growing lettuces from lettuce and would you, you can peter rabbit's really interested in <laughs> uh your lettuce for peter rabbit if you've got <laughs> a lettuce that you've already got from the supermarket if you cut the bottom piece off about two inches of it so you can eat all the leaves peter rabbit can eat all the leaves and if you put that in a, in a glass of water and leave it for a few days a week or so it, it should start <laughs> the leaves should start growing again so i can yeah. see peter rabbit's looking quite excited by that idea i think he's really excited about that means <laughs> peter rabbit can start farming <laughs> <laughs> And just a final thing to ask you about, what does it, what do you get, do you think, from gardening and growing things? Because sometimes it's quite stressful, I believe, because not everything grows. It is, it can be, it can be a bit frustrating, but it's really nice when there's, if you plant enough seeds, something will grow. And it's really nice to watch things grow slowly and to keep to keep looking after them and then being able to pick fresh food and take it from your garden directly onto you to for your dinner mm. uh, and it's uh, and it seems to taste so much better and it's nice being outdoors and with a bit of nature mm. so especially at the moment when we can't go for walks we can't go to the parks and the woods and stuff then at least you can come outside and and do a little bit of gardening and feel feel like you're you know um uh, you're not just kind of in your flat or in your house, just uh, waiting for the waiting for the virus to go away. It's a nice. It's a nice thing to do at this time of year. Wow. Well, that was really great. Thank you. What? Anything you want to say before we go, Polly? Just quickly. Peter Rabbit has a quick thing to to say, and then we'll yes. say thank Rachel for um, being our guest gardening artist. And Peter Rabbit. About the cabbage. <laughs> cabbage! <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.